Hello everybody. I have a few projects here I'd like to share with you. Um, I created some Valentine projects to give to some of my friends. And um, I'll just start off with the products that I used. Um, I used the KN Company Kelly Panasini, the Ephemera Pack. It has all these diff different images. I'm sure you probably have already seen them. But um, just like that. And then I used two different paper collections. Both of them are from Kelly Panasini, but um, this is one of them. This is the KN Company. I think this one's just called uh, Valentine. And then the other one is from her as well, and it's KN Company. And this one's called Valentine too, but it's a different paper collection. And this one has um, some cutouts that you could cut out and put in your projects, different ones, so I use some of those to create these projects. <clears throat> Excuse me. Both of these right here are glassing bags, and we'll just start with this one. Um, this image I downloaded from um, an Etsy shop, and the little image right here, I'll put the link in the description bar below in case you guys would like to um, download some. She has some really cute shabby chic looking uh, images there. And um, this is just a glass seam bag. I embossed it with one of my embossing folders. I think it's the um, Swiss Dots embossing folder. And then I just layered some pink um, cardstock here, embossed it as well, and put some stickles around the edges. And then, of course, this is the image I was telling you about. I put some stickles around that. And then these two flowers right here, I put some stickles on those. And those came from I Am Roses. And this one up here as well. It came from I Am Roses. And I just put some tool up here and a little bow. So these are pretty simple. Um, I also have a little punch right here from EK Success that I just put right here. And put a hole in this. Just so I could um, put some candy in here. So that's the first one. Um, this one right here is basically the same way. I use the um, Swiss Dots embossing folder um, on here and on this burgundy sheet of paper here and then this is one of the images that I cut from the paper collection and both of these flowers are from I Am Roses and then it has a big gardenia up here and this is from I Am Roses as well and then I tied some of the um, tool up here and then the back is basically the same as the other one I used the EK Success punch on that one as well and I got my inspiration to do these glassine bags from my butterfly kisses. Her name is Arlene, and I'll put the link in the description bar below for that, too. And then this right here, I got my inspiration from Bonnie um, at Sassy Scrappers on YouTube. She has some of the most beautiful um, origami boxes, and uh, so I just watched her tutorial and come up with this. And it's using the paper collections that I showed you. I just put some um, seam binding right here, some pink seam binding, and tied some bows up here in the top. And then this right here, these flowers here are from Recollections. I purchased these at Michael's, as well as these little white um, ribbon rose flowers. I think these were in the dollar bin or the dollar fifty bin, the little white ones. I'm not exactly sure. And then this is a little image that. Um, came from the ephemera pack from Can Company. And then up here is um, a stick pen that I created using some of the pretty um, stick pen, um, I'm sorry, beads that they have at Joann's. And uh, I just created that using it. And then I put some beads right here on each side. And then this punch right here um, with the hearts is a Martha Stewart punch that I purchased at Michael's as well. And then um, this right here is another little um, envelope from the ephemeral pack as well. And then these flowers right here are some cherry blossoms, or it may be dogwood blossoms. I'm not sure I purchased these at Michael's too. And the little bird came from Michael's too, so I thought he was really cute. And then um, these are some flowers that came with the little bird right here. And then I used some lace um, in the little hearts right here. Not sure if that's going to pick up, but 
put some lace right here for the little bird to sit on like it's a little nest. And then I put some more of the uh, seam binding right here. And I just layered some more of the lace, the little heart lace right here on all the corners. And then this is another um, little cutout from the ephemeral pack here. And so that's that. And it just opens up like this. And I also put some stickles um, around on this. I'm not sure if that's going to pick up too good or not. But um, really pretty. And I put some of the um, little Brock's um, heart lines in here. Just put two boxes of that along with some of the crinkle paper. So if you guys haven't checked out Bonnie, um, check her out. She has some really beautiful projects on there. And also has a tutorial on how to make these boxes. So I hope you guys have a good day. If you have any questions, just let me know. And I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.